Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. We're going to talk about Disney decline, both their stock and their, uh, I guess, their reputation. Oh, with it's been in decline. Consumers and investors. Uh, all of it's on the decline. Uh, we're going to talk about this. Uh, not surprising at all. In fact, their stock has gone down after D23, their, their non-event where they really didn't announce anything. Because uh, no one was excited about it and they were just making fun of them. Yeah, pretty much. Nobody was excited about any of their announcements, so their stock is in decline now, to be fair. Oh yeah, they took Rogue Squadron off and they changed oh, yeah. a bunch of uh, movies around. They didn't seem like they had any plan. Like what No, was it was kind of like just, hey, take your money. We're 80,000 people here to give us money to come in. Yay. Yeah, here's our blue sky plans that may or may not happen in Buy your our lifetime. Shit. Buy our stuff. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. Over 275,000 subs. Woo! Thank you for the support. And speaking of support, your support has been amazing. Crimson Ren uh, Volume 1 from Clownfish Studios on Indiegogo now for six more days. Over 62,000. I need to refresh this. It's over 62,000 now. There it is. Ooh. There we go. Uh, thank you for the support. Uh, yes. No, this oh, is You have five days left. Five days left. Okay, so this is it's not going to be on the final countdown. The final countdown. Now, Anyways. now to be fair, we're probably going to leave this one in demand for a month or two, and also do a couple weeks on Kickstarter too. Yeah, some um, people don't want to back on Indiegogo. So we'll we've actually had people say, "Hey, we'd rather do Kickstarter." You come to Kickstarter, and a lot of people are doing both. So I think we we might do that um, just to make sure we get our final pre-order numbers in. But uh, it's a beautiful looking book, guys. I think you're really gonna like it. It's not coming to Disney Plus. Um, yeah, so let's let's start with this first. Disney did D23, and we did a pretty lengthy video talking about their lack of excitement, lack of announcements, mm -hmm. uh, lack of anything to get people's juices going. Right, and it seems that uh, Wall Street didn't really care to hear. No, because there was nothing. There wasn't anything really. In they didn't announce any Star Wars. Right. The Marvel announcements were pretty much non-announcements. I mean, it was just actors there and talking about updates on the current projects. They really didn't announce anything new. Um, their you know parks and resorts. There was a couple new things like, hey, we're getting another ride at Avengers Land someday. But, you know, it was just updates and things we knew about for the most part. And, oh, yeah, guess what? We're going to, you know, Figment, you love Figment? Yeah, and the end of next year, it'll be a meet and greet. I mean, it was just like a big nothing. It was a nothing burger. Yeah, and of course, you know, and then the, the blue sky stuff and the... Oh, yeah. Know, we we may or may not do these uh, additions, add these additions to the parks. We're still going to maybe, possibly, maybe. We're, we're thinking about it. And you know, the thing is, everybody was talking about uh, Splash Mountain re-theme. That was actually designed like 10 years ago. Yeah, everybody keeps saying, oh, they did it. No, no. no. They've, they've been, been trying and it was never, they always got pushed back. So the one opportunity they had to put it through, they thought with no pushback or they could yell racism, they took it. Yep, they did. And it, it looks pretty underwhelming, actually. Because, you know, there are lots and lots of mountains in authentic New Orleans. Yeah, right. Uh, lots of mountain ranges. Anyway, yeah, they said that several unexpected holes emerged in uh, their announcements and left fans scratching their heads. Most of Disney's recent losses seem connected to the D23 event. The event revealed that the release of Star Wars spin-off movie Rogue Squadron had been removed right. from the slate. Uh, actually, they said there aren't going to be any movement uh, or any movement. <laughs> there's some movement. Some bowel movements. <laughs> yes. They're not going to move on. I meant to say. They're not going to move forward on any movie announcements until at least 2024, 2025. Right now, Star Wars is relegated to TV. Um, we told you that was probably going to happen. We said it was a rumor, but they were right. They were like, yeah, there, there are no movies being announced. They don't know what they're going to do with Star Wars right. other than make a bunch of well, spin-offs. People thought there were going to be a bunch of Marvel announcements with actors because we know they've signed some different actors. Not yeah. then. Like I said, it was just literally updates on what we already knew about. Yeah, so they said that back in May, uh, they were bullish. This come from NASDAQ.com, by the way. They were bullish on Disney. Like, Disney's going to get better because Disney did dip below $100. Um the termites in the House of Mouse seem to be winning. That's not a good sign for its long-term prospects, so I'm pulling back to neutral. Basically, this is coming from NASDAQ. They're like, oh, don't worry. Disney's going to be fine, guys. Disney's going to be fine. Disney's got a plan. Disney's got... No, Disney has no plan. I don't think... Yeah, they shocker. Plan. Disney doesn't have a plan. Oh, they have a plan. It's called milk people for what they can get without spending any money. Right, right. 
Uh, so let's let's talk about milking people, and then we're gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna buy them dinner first. <laughs> yeah. Um, New York Post: Torture. Disney World guests gripe of broken down rides and filth as prices soar. Um, well, it's not untrue. It's not untrue. If you, you keep seeing pictures of the garbage that were flying out of the cans and stuff like that. Disney ten years ago was very different. Uh huh. Well, Disney like five years five ago, years ago. Was very different. Uh, and they keep wanting to cut back on staff. They keep wanting to cut back on cleaning, on maintenance. Maintenance is a big one. They keep yeah. cutting back on maintenance. They keep, and keep breaking. Boats keep boats, boats are sinking. sinking. You know, it's Stuff's just... breaking. So this is coming from the New York Post. Uh, Disney World guests gripe that the Orlando, Florida resort has become plagued with broken down rides and dirty facilities, even as the theme park continues to hike prices under Bob Chapek. It's not just Bob Chapek. It's it's company wide. Mm -hmm. Visitors are increasingly taking the social media to bash the happiest place on earth. Well, that's technically not the happiest place on earth. Doesn't sound very happy. No, the dirtiest. Disneyland's the oh, happiest it is place the ha on earth. You're right. Well, you're Disney right. World is the most ma is the magical place on earth. Or it's whatever. the most magical place on earth. Right. The happiest you got place that on earth. Wrong. Is got that wrong, Bob. Uh, complained that Chapek, who replaced the Mouse House's longtime boss Bob Iger in 2020. Is only concerned with cutting costs and raising prices instead of reinvesting in the resort. <laughs> Bob Chipek, are you kidding? I never would have guessed that would happen. You know, ever. Uh, some rides were a straight mess. True. Wrote one Reddit user in a chat room dubbed Disney Lacking. You know, oh, there's a chat room? I, I'm, I'm not on this chat room. When we, we need to go to this chat room. When we called out years ago, three or four years ago, that Disney was in decline. That it was very oh. obvious they were in decline. No, uh, clownfish, you're liars. You never worked for Disney. You're haters. You don't even go to Disney. You can't afford it. <laughs> Bitches, you have no idea. So anyway, uh, we were called we were called heretics basically, and we mm -hmm. talked about the Disney cult, and we had a bunch of uh, Disney bloggers and. Uh, other Disney YouTubers dunk on us. People oh, the are, ones that are dunking on Disney now. The when ones it's trendy. That, yes, the ones that are dunking on Disney now were the ones that came after us and sent their viewers after us. <clears throat> DSMY news. Mm -hmm. um, and they did that, you know, because they're like, it's impossible. Disney, there's nothing wrong with Disney. You're just a bunch of haters. I'm like, no, here it is, guys. Everybody is complaining about Disney. We just saw the cracks before you guys saw the cracks because we were up closer to it than you were. So we saw it was already starting to crack. Uh, last month, riders got stranded for over an hour on the Magic Kingdom's It's a Small World ride with one customer calling the experience torture on social media. <laughs> Well, well, we've seen, okay, wait, but we've seen videos and I put it up before people were trapped on pirates and they were in there for like an hour. And the one lady just apparently dropped her pants, stuck her butt up over the edge and took a piss into the water of pirates of the Caribbean. Yo ho, yo ho. I mean, I'm just like, this, this keeps happening. Oh God. In July, video footage from Disney World revealed guests climbing out of a car on Splash Mountain because it started yes, sinking. That happened though. That's happened a couple times. Um, actually. That would be that would be this one, right? But I don't know. But it's happened more than once. I know at oh least God. two or three times this has happened. And um they're not fixing it because they're like, well, we're going to take it down anyway, but they aren't because they don't want to take it down probably the Tron's up. They're going to use the same boats. I mean, they're using the same boats. It's just well, like, they're going to have to fix God. everything. It's the third sinking incident to years. So as I understand it, one of the first things that Disney cut, uh, trying to cut, you know, staff was was maintenance. Mm -hmm. They were always very anal about maintaining their attractions, and now they just don't care because you know whatever. You know, if one breaks down, who's going to give the Small World characters haircuts? I know, right? That that is, and that's I, true. Their hair grows, but. It's because it's yarn and it stretches. They have to constantly be trimming their hair. Anyway. Uh, the animatronics are breaking down. And Mermaid is actually a newer attraction. Uh, I saw Ursula jiggle before. Um, that's okay. They can just replace her with a black animatronic. That's probably what they'll do. That's probably what they'll do. That's probably what they'll do. They'll, they'll be like, hey, it's going to be more movie accurate. <laughs> uh, the magic is calling you to Disney World. This is how they market it. They mark it as being magical and well kept and clean. Oh, and, and they show like one family and like no one else around, so that you know you think if that's what it's gonna be like for you, but it's not. Yep, the park has deteriorated. The broken rides, the cost of service, our rides are down a lot. It's been lacking since they reopened. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. They know people will keep coming regardless. That's it. We have said the exact same thing mm -hmm. for years, and people are like, "Clownfish, you're just haters." 
You're just haters. Guests called out specific attractions, including Under the Sea, Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid, Magic Kingdom, as a sign of the state of the park. According to Disney blog, Inside the Magic, <laughs> Inside the Magic, you mean the most magical, wonderful pixie dust huffing website out there? No, that it hasn't been for a We were time. too negative to work with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Which earlier reported the complaints. Uh, half of the NQ Hermit Crab effects don't work. Uh, almost every scene, there's something broken. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, you can do this for every ride. Something's broken, unkempt, or not functional. It's true about the eyes on the eels, because I noticed that when I was riding it with uh, Pinky Boo. And it, or no, no, it wasn't Pinky Boo. It was, it was my sister and my nephew. Yeah. And uh, they, they, it was, it was, they weren't working right, and I noticed it. It used to be that when they stopped doing maintenance on the rides, that was a sign that they were going to retire the ride. But they're they're not even doing basic maintenance at this point. Uh, one user complained of poor maintenance and cast members who weren't in character at the ultra expensive new Galactic Star Cruiser what? hotel. What? The new hotel that's what? not filling up? The actors aren't being in character anymore? What? It's just Clownfish TV complaining. Oh, have you written it yet? Have you been there? How would you know? Yeah, one of the cast members from the Galactic Star Cruiser actually hunted geeky down and was like, have you been there? No, because I said something on Instagram and it was the day, the day it opened that no, there's no way I would have been there the day before it opened. Well, have you been? Clearly not. Plus I'm not paying $6,000 for that hunk of shit. I'm sorry. Had it been, you know, original trilogy themed, had there been more to do that. And look at the sunroom in Florida. I would have been like, oh, we can make rocks jiggle. I would have been like, yeah, let's go. Some people would pay six thousand dollars to have their rocks jiggled. <laughs> depends. Depends on who who's jiggling the rocks. Uh, last year, when I was here, I was blown away with cast members, especially at Galaxy's Edge, with maintaining the illusion. They probably cared more. This That's year, true. this year, a lot of cast members were not in character at all. The resorts have all had some small issues, like the main door not closing when we leave, to the uh, AC not working properly. That is true. The air conditioning in a lot of the hotels lately not working, leaking. Plus they they lock it so you can't turn it down anymore yes, and it's yes. not exactly comfortable. But um, yeah, it's just been, there's just been one thing after another because it's too big to maintain everything and they don't want to spend the money to do it. No, uh, Disney World's unkempt appearance is a hot topic with users noting grass isn't freshly cut, trash litters the ground and buildings have chipped paint. Yeah, back when I was a kid, they paint from one end to the other and then start all over again. You know, that's they, kind of what always. they would do. Because Florida gets weathered so quickly. Yeah, more so than California. Florida, the attractions do get weathered quickly, which is why so many are indoor. But yeah, the outdoor queues especially, you know, take a beating. Constant sun, rain, sun, rain, sun, rain. Um, but yeah, um, they're saying Universal Orlando is actually better. Well, the Universal keeping... CEO said they're catching up with Disney and he's not wrong. No, I think eventually it's not going to be worth it to go. Uh, there's no doubt that the parks, restaurants, and hotels we enjoyed were in definite need of repair. There's a clear lack of general maintenance. Uh, it was genuinely shocking at the prices they're charging. There was zero excuse for it, including COVID. Another guest called the parks gross. Knowing there was tons of there trash are everywhere. Pictures all over the place, discussions all over the place of trash. It's, it's like in the queue, they've always said that, but they, they're, they're not picking it up. And then you see trash like up on the water or thrown over railings. Um, part of it's because they don't have enough cast members to maintain it because they're not hiring enough people to work because it costs too much. Um, the ones that are being, you know, that are staying, the reason they're so grumpy is because they're probably sick of being treated like shit by both the guests and management. Yeah. Or some of them just don't actually just don't care. Um, it, it, it is, it's a problem. It's a real problem. Why should they care when we saw firsthand how valuable they actually were to the company right. during the pandemic? Like, why would you care? It's like you kept thinking to yourself, well, yeah, I get paid about the same as somebody working at Walmart, but at least they like me here. At least I'm family here. That's what they tell me. Nah, nah, you're, you're not. You're, you're an employee. Uh, get back to work. Or not, it doesn't matter. We don't care. <laughs> I watched a person smoking cigarettes in Liberty Square, grabbed a quick dinner at Pecos Bill, and it was grimy. Um, we've had that happen. Yeah, Pecos Bill usually is pretty grimy. I mean, I understand it's hard to keep a lot of the quick service restaurants clean, but I they, was... They've, it's a definitely a decline. There's definitely a decline. We went and we were in, what, Dino Land. I'm like, is there a clean table here somewhere? It's still better than the trash can lids. You have to use an Epcot, but still. Oh, God. Um, another user zeroed in their hotel stay. The lack of room cleaning bothered me the most. Um, light cleaning every other day isn't good enough. Some people take it. I mean, if you're not in your room very often and and you want to credit, I mean, that's fine. They don't do that anymore. They're all blaming Bob Chapek. They're talking about the, the 
you know, the portion sizes of food items. Oh, yeah. Um, disgusting slop and prison food, the revamped meals. Uh, two words, Bob Chapek. Another claim, this is what the new Disney is all about. Cutting costs and making more for the board of directors. Imagine, I imagine, unless they put someone in charge that really cares about Disney and not the bottom line, it's going to stay like this. Well, at this point, the president's set and whoever is in their place, and they're going to expect the same kind of results because they want that money. I agree with this person. I, I mean, it is easy. Yeah, we've said this before. It's just gotten impossible to ignore. I think the decline has been there for years. We've been seeing it mm -hmm. at least for the past five or six years. Yes. The decline has been there, but now it is so obvious to the normies that the decline is there. The prices are going up. They're not even hiding it anymore. And it's like, yeah, they're – look, they're for-profit business, but they're not even giving – it used to be that Disney could justify – the prices that they charge, the reason it was so expensive is because it was top-notch, top That's top why shelf. when they said Disney difference, it meant something. They People had books like, about it. You they hate Disney. It's like, no, we love Disney. We hate whatever this shit is now. You yeah. know, and we like what it was. This shit sucks. Well, speaking of uh, speaking of Inside the Magic, we talked about it. They're blaming the, um, the stock decline on Disney getting into politics. Well, they aren't. Somebody else's are just covering it because they want clicks. Um, yeah. So, uh, yes, Christopher Rufo. I don't think that's it. But it is interesting that they said that uh, Disney does have a much higher unfavorable rating uh, among conservatives. Well, I think that than... probably makes sense. I mean, given, yeah. I mean, given what happened, I can see that, that being true. So Disney's approval rating has fallen from 77 to 51 percent. So it basically comes down to uh, political affiliation, I think. But they said that they're having trouble with uh, Republican conservative voters. The thing is, is there are other companies that I would call quote unquote woke mm -hmm. that people don't have as much of an issue with as they do with Disney. But they don't feel as, as attached to Disney. And it's gotten to the place where it used to be you could vote for you wanted and that was this one aspect of your life. But anymore, it's like your entire life is based on who you voted for. I, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Um, are you red or blue? And if you're a red guy or a blue guy, you gotta get out of here depending on, you know, it's so stupid. Um, so anyway, guys, I expect to see this continue as more and more stories come out and more and more firsthand accounts come out of just how budget cut the parks have been. Meanwhile, Nintendo's coming to Universal yeah. and it looks pretty damn good. I'm, so, I'm just sitting here wondering if people are surprised because we've been telling you <laughs> for a while. No, because <laughs> they clearly think that we were just making shit up. It's like, no, um, we're not making shit up. This is, we've seen the decline. We were at the parks a hell of a lot. We were looking at stuff behind the scenes. We had people we're talking to all the time and they were appalled at the stuff that you know, was in place for years, the maintenance and the, all of that that was in place for years. And all of a sudden they're just like, yeah, we're cutting this, we're cutting that, we're, whatever. Now we're starting to see it. Yep. And everybody else is starting to see it. But meanwhile, they're going to jack the prices up as people are getting a, a, a budget cut vacation. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.